guys, Aileen here from Homegrown Happiness. Welcome to March. It's officially autumn in New Zealand and I can already tell because the sun has like drastically changed. Um, it's about 1pm and it's gone up there now. It's just a little bit here and then just in front of me as well but that'll be gone soon too. So that's what I'm quite used to now. That's what happens every autumn and winter and in fact now I really enjoy um, like the challenge of still being able to grow food the whole year and making sure that I'm on top of things and planning everything so that I can continuously harvest all year round. So today I'm just going to chat through what has changed in the garden and what I'm going to do today. Um, uh, one of the main changes has been that I've removed one of the bean arches. So I had three and now there's only two. I took out the biggest one that was the heaviest and the wind was pushing it and so the metal was bending and um, some parts had actually already broken. So that just shows that $15 is not going to get you a very well made arch. So I'll see how well these two last behind me. But next year, next summer, I might have to think of something else to use because I don't want to be buying and wasting cheap arches every year. I'm going to keep the two that are there at the moment still if um, for some peas over winter. So the bean arches have gone and in their place I have planted out some um, winter brassicas. I also took out the cherry tomatoes that were staked there um, and so I've got some more brassicas under netting there. This morning I went to the beach and I collected all the seaweed and that's going to go in the garlic bed. I won't be planting the garlic out until next month but I am going to start prepping the bed now. So I've got a bed at the top that is going to be used for it. It's um, already got a layer of aged horse manure under the piece drawer and today I'm going to be adding some chopped seaweed as well. One of the reasons I start prepping my garlic bed so early um, when I'm using seaweed is because I chop it quite roughly. I don't have the energy, patience or secretors to chop it nicely so there will be some bigger pieces in there and so that'll give it time to break down. So this is the garlic bed that I'm going to be using. Last year at this time I had spinach in here and a couple of other things but I thought actually it's probably a good space for garlic because it's a lot bigger than the garlic beds that I usually have so it'd be quite nice to have a little bit more. Um, I'm not super optimistic that I'm not going to get any rust this year because uh, it seems to be really hard to avoid nowadays in New Zealand. Um, might be something to do with the weather, it's been a lot warmer every year so those rust spores probably aren't getting killed, it's not cold enough so even if I get rust, the garlic that I got last season was really yummy so I'm still keen to try it again and if I give it a really good head start with some manure and seaweed and plant it early enough, who knows what will happen. did a tui worm tower this week which I've just asked Shay to dig a hole for me to put in the ground so it's like a uh, worm farm that you can put directly into your garden. It's a really simple idea the worm tower itself is just a tall contraption with holes in it and no bottom and a lid and you just dig it into the garden and then pop your food scraps your green waste your paper whatever right in there and uh, as well as some compost worms and then they'll just break that down and all the worm castings will go directly into your soil. It's a uh, the soil's pretty dry at the moment so I did not get it into, well Shay did not dig the hole quite deep enough um, but we have clay underneath my no dig garden so it's pretty hard to dig into so if you were going to get one maybe hold off digging the hole until it's rained a bit more and the soil is softer so this month I'm just going to be harvesting everything I can in the moment things are finished or finished enough out they'll come and more winter stuff will go in because I have a whole heap of brassica seedlings still that need to go in and right now they are just like under the netting in their little containers alongside the planted cauliflower that's in there so they're running out of room and they need to get into the soil so yeah this time of year I like it because it's uh, time to clean up um, all the mess of my messy garden my tomatoes are everywhere, they've all fallen down, but I am actually really happy with the tomatoes that I grew this year. I stuck to two varieties, pretty much. I grew just some Italian plum tomatoes and I grew cherry tomatoes and I found that the best because 
we're not huge tomato eaters in this family anyway we eat a lot of cooked tomatoes but the kids don't like raw tomatoes so um, I just stuck to the basics mainly the ones that I can preserve and then the cherry tomatoes me and Shay if we do want raw tomatoes we can eat those this month there will be a lot of green waste because of all the crops that will be finished and I'll be chopping them down and usually I'll just lay the chopped crops down directly on the soil and then cover it with mulch and then they'll, they'll break down and then return all the nutrients and stuff into the soil and feed the worms but sometimes I can't do that if they're like diseased like say powdery mildew um, so then I will either compost them far away or I will burn them so things up in this garden didn't really get any powdery mildew so far even my zucchini so chopping those leaves back has held it at bay um, but my cucumber in the bottom garden that did get powdery mildew so we dried the leaves and then burnt them the other day and then the ash that that creates that can be used in the garden and that's really good for your garden but I do recommend drying out your um, crops first before popping them on the fire or you'll create a lot of smoke and check your fire regulations before lighting anything so yeah this month is mainly for me about harvesting and getting everything that I can out of the garden and then clearing the space for my winter things. I'm also really working on preserving my produce so that I have enough to eat over winter. We've got quite a few pumpkins coming along and our freezer is already full of tomatoes as well as my pantry with tomato sauces and things like that. Beans, don't get me started, oh, there's so many but it's great. So that's, yeah, that's the, a big focus of this month and so that's where I'll end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.